Hi everybody, a little bit of a different video today as far as what sold. We're going to shy away from my usual, which is of course ephemera, paper products, print ads, postcards, the like. And we're going to do everything else. Uh, this is a collection of other items that have sold over the last couple of weeks here in my store. And we're going to start off with a pair of brand new shoes, Clarks Cloud Steppers. You can see right there, sold for 30 bucks plus shipping. Just sold these uh, yesterday. These shoes were my mother-in-law's. She gave them to us because she's, uh, how do I say it gently, compulsively buying on QVC, things like that. She just loves to buy things. They're always new. They're always beautiful conditions. So these were given to us because she's not going to wear them. Turned around and sold these. I think it took about a week and a half or two weeks to sell. So nice one there, 30 bucks. Next up is another free item. We're very lucky. Uh, my wife, her new position, uh, she's working basically at an old folks home and a nursing home. And in this nursing home, they have what they call a free table, which is just kind of stuff that uh, the residents will put out there, magazines, books, just things that they don't need anymore. They want people to have access to. And she found this along with a Mickey Mouse watch, which I also have listed, but hasn't sold yet. Same thing about a week ago, listed this one. I took a best offer of $59.99, so $10 off, but still $60 basically for a free watch. Disney, uh, another free item. This is a... Uh, We've had it for years, uh, since 2011. My wife used to work in the Disney store and she got a bunch of these plastic fans. We have t probably 50 of them. Sold for $12.99. Uh, I don't know why the shipping is so high. It shipped for less than that. But anyway, that was completed a couple of days ago as well. We've had this one up for a while. The listing has been up for a while. I did do the end and sell similar recently. And I believe this was one of the items that was captured in that population. So great to see this go. You know, $13 plus shipping for this silly little plastic fan that we got for free. Now, the bane of most people's existence in reselling, of course, are these Hamilton collector plates, all this kind of nonsense. But this one, as you see, did sell for 25 bucks, which, believe it or not, in the world of collector plates, at least most of them, is really good money. Star Trek, I picked up a huge lot of Star Trek stuff about four or five years ago at this point. I've lost track. And I still have a few items. I've sold almost everything from that collection but here was one of those leftovers that we did get out the door for 25 bucks really really happy about this one good riddance let's head over to some music that i've been listing and selling with some frequency this is these are all cds and records that were just my collection so none of these were sourced so they're not free certainly i bought them for way more than i'm selling for but they've all been you know 30 plus years i've had them so it's i've gotten my money's worth as far as listening to them over the years and this is a really cool record it's called the best of chess blues volume two uh money waters helen wolf elmore james otis rush etta james which has, she has a great song called baby what you want me to do on this which was live in a nightclub so great great record here six bucks plus the economical three dollar media shipping couple of Kiss records, again, all mine. This is a CD from 89. I got it in 89, so I've had that over 30 years. Sold for nine bucks. It's the last good Kiss album. There's no questions or discussion about that. If you have any issues, leave a comment. One of the best Kiss albums that's ever been made is this double disc, Kiss Alive, from 1975. The CD is from 88, I think, is when I got it. It's a double disc, really nice, $12.99 plus shipping. A Foreigner CD, which I believe is one of the first CDs I purchased when CDs came out. I think it was in 85 or 86, maybe. Uh, Foreigner's Greatest Hits, kind of all... You know, tunes we've all known and loved for a while. Plays very well. Sounds really good on CD, too. Uh, got $8 on that one. This is a novelty disc, which is very, very funny. You could see it's kind of making fun of the... Not making fun of, but an homage, let's say, to uh, Sgt. Pepper cover. It's called Golden Throats, The Great Celebrity Sing-Off. The highlight of this, without question, is William Shatner doing Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. If you have not heard that, I'll put a link below. I'm sure it's on YouTube somewhere. Hysterical. He kind of, like, in Shatner form, you know, sings slash speaks the words to Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds, but it's uh, Leonard Nimoy's on here. There's a whole bunch of stuff. It's hysterical. Definitely check it out. All right, next up is this Go Go's Greatest Hits CD from 1990. Took a best offer for a $5.99 on this one. You know, they don't have that many hits, but the couple they have are all really good songs, and uh, happy to see that one sell. Over to some LPs. This one is, again, from my mother-in-law, who gave us a whole stack of records that she had in a collection. You can see it's Capital Stereo, uh, King and I, Rodgers and Hammerstein from, Hammerstein from 1965. Not the best looking cover, but the record was in really good condition on Capitol with the rainbow. Has the original inner sleeve and there's the back. So this was free to us, $9 plus shipping. This one hurt a little. Uh, it's Beatles 65 from 1983. It's a U.S. Capitol album that really doesn't exist. It's, it's a compilation, basically, of uh, Beatles for Sale and a couple of other singles like I Feel Fine, She's a Woman. But this one I bought new in 83. Um, I've had 
since I've collected several better versions of this from the 60s. This is a reissue from 83, but even 83 now is, I guess, considered an older record. Uh, $12.99 on that one, plus shipping. A couple of 78 records. Now, these were not my personal collection. These were sourced at antique malls. Uh, the bulk of the 78s that I've picked up were probably about 10 cents a dime, 15 cents at the most a piece. So on this one, we got $20 out of this one. Ella Fitzgerald, Love You Madly, backed with uh, Sailing from 1951. Duke Ellington plays on this one, Love You Madly. Beautiful record, sold out for 20 bucks. 78's a fantastic return on investments, folks. Here's another one from 1947. Joe Stafford, Stanley Steamer, 78, sold for $19 plus shipping. Another really inexpensive purchase of a nickel to a dime into this one. And then rounding out with a couple, I guess technically this is paper. This is another one of those freebies that was on the table that my wife picked up at the uh, nursing home. Um, paper Doll, American Girl, Pastimes, 1998. It was sealed in plastic. You can kind of see that up there. So it's just a super easy flip. Took a best offer of $19 on this one. Free money. Love it. And to wrap up this video, this is another thing I've had for a while. This was a pickup and an estate sale. You could see uh, just a series of shot glasses with carriages and sailing ships from France. There's a nice blow up of them. Some pretty cool pictures I took, at least I thought. <laughs> and we got, what did we get, 20 bucks out of that? 20 bucks on that one. I just wanted to do a quick video, everybody, just to show you we're not just selling paper, although we prefer to sell paper because we love this stuff, but there's lots of other great things to get out there to source and make some money on. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have not yet subscribed, please take a moment and hit that subscribe button. Click the notification bell icon to be notified whenever I go live, which is usually Monday and Friday nights uh, here on the Jiminy Flip It channel. I really appreciate you taking the time. Hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.